In this video, I'm gonna show you how to write a blog post using Word Hero. Word Hero is probably one of my favorite AI tools that are out there right now, uh, mainly because of the price in which it is available at, as well as how good it actually produces a lot of content. So let's go ahead and jump into it right here. What's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Amazing Online Business Tools. Here we talk about the tech that you need to run your online business, but also save a little money while doing it. We're going to be talking about Word Hero and creating a blog post with it specifically today. Spoiler alert, Word Hero is an absolutely amazing tool. It's one of the better AI writing tools that are out there right now. And I definitely recommend that you go and check it out. But before we jump into um, how we can write this blog post really fast using AI, I do want to make you aware that Word Hero currently has um, an amazing deal that's available. It's a lifetime deal over at AppSumo uh, where you pay for it once and you never have to pay for it again. Um, as of right now, it's $89. This does go up or it's probably going to eventually disappear at some point, especially as Word Hero gets more and more popular. But uh, it's a lifetime deal. It's a lot cheaper than a lot of the bigger ones that are out there. For example, Jasper. I think Jasper for a similar deal as to this one, you're going to be spending anywhere from uh, 50 to a hundred dollars per month where here is 89 one time. You never have to pay for it again, but it's over at AppSumo. I'll be sure to leave a link down in the description is blogger evolution.com slash word hero. That's blogger evolution.com slash word hero to take advantage of it before it disappears and goes away forever. Um, to make it a little more interesting, I will throw in if you do click on the link below, it is an affiliate link. It does help support the channel. A bit of your payment will come back to support me, which I do appreciate it, especially if you find any value in these videos at all. But just to make it a little more interesting, if you do go ahead and use that link and sign up for Word Hero, please let me know down in the comments below or shoot me an email on my channel and I will get you my free blogging cheat sheet that is available as well that shows you step by step how to get your blog up and running and making money for you as quickly as possible, especially when you're using awesome tools like Word Hero. So go ahead and give that a try. But let's go ahead and jump into Word Hero. This is the front page. Um, we're going to go ahead and log straight in. As soon as you log in, you're going to be presented with all of these templates that they have available. But uh, it's a little daunting because I think it's around 50 to 70 or so of them. You can break them down into these different tools right here. Business, where it breaks it down to more of the business templates. I use probably the marketing templates the most, as well as the social media ones, where you can get video titles, video descriptions, um, writing tools such as the Ada framework, which is a way in which you can open up blog posts. Um, content rewriter is very interesting. And then miscellaneous. I don't really deal with miscellaneous much, but uh, look at under marketing. You have blog intros, blog conclusions, blog paragraphs, uh, emails, cold emails. The list just kind of goes on. Now, when you do sign up for Word Hero, especially if you use the App Sumo deal, um, it's just going to give you access to all of these templates, which is good enough. You click on a template, you drop in your short description, click right for me, and then it gives you a whole bunch of options on the right. You can then take these and then copy and paste them into WordPress or copy and paste them into a Word document if you're doing this as a freelance or something like that. This is all very, very helpful and uh, go from there. But if you would like to write your entire blog post within Word Hero, you will have to get their editor. And um, that is also a one-time deal. I believe it's also $89. So you do it once, I believe it's $180 and you're done for life. You don't have to worry about paying a single cent ever again, where if you were using something like Jasper or something, um, $180 will only get you two months worth of using Jasper and then no more, you know? So this is unlimited words and everything. So you don't have to worry about if it spits out bad data or not, you can just delete it and then regenerate it. It's unlimited wording. So, uh, and that's never going to go away too, by the way. So that's really the awesome part about it. So when it comes to writing a blog post under the editor here, let's click on title. This is where you would input your title. So I was just trying to come up with anything I could. So I decided to just look up a blog post and say, does coffee stunt your growth? I am a coffee fiend. I do love the stuff probably way too much. So I'm just going to make this a little bit more interesting and capitalize the first letters. And then I like to put something in parentheses to uh, make it a little more interesting to click. So this is what my blog post title is going to be. And then we insert our content right here. So first of all, I want to get an outline. So if you click here, it says blog outline, generate an outline from the title. So let's go ahead and click on it and see what word hero is going to spit out to us. So it says introduction, discuss the question of whether coffee stunts your growth, uh, the caffeine of coffee, how it works and how it affects the body. It's actually a pretty good title for the first subheading. Does coffee stunt growth studies on the matter? Does coffee have any other benefits 
that can outweigh any possible struggling. This is excellent, to be honest. I mean, it goes into it very well, weighing the pros and cons of coffee consumption. All right, and this is for a conclusion. This is actually very good. You know, I, I must say it, it goes to each part of uh, discussing this topic, you know, pretty clearly. Um, one thing I like to do as well is I would get this particular topic, copy it and just drop it into Google and see what people also ask uh, in terms of this. So they have a thing right here that goes. This is Harvard. Well, let's go here. Can a 13 year old drink coffee? Does coffee make you lose weight? can what can stunt your growth so none of these people also ask really go into the actual topic of does coffee stunt your growth they start talking about 13 year olds 12 year olds not really uh anything that goes with this i'm going to also scroll down to the bottom what stunts your growth that's getting a little more general we want to be specific and talk exactly as to what we're talking about in this paragraph this cough this caffeine stunt brain growth um Nah, that might be, but I'm not going to leave that one alone. Does coffee stunt your growth? Mayo Clinic, does coffee stunt your baby's growth? You shouldn't be giving coffee to your baby, so <laughs> I think we'll uh, pass on that one as well. But anyway, I think what Word Hero came up with is actually pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and stay with what Word Hero has for us. Um, discuss the question whether it's growth. So I'm going to get rid of this introduction one. And then if you click on the rocket here, the rocket says write an intro from title or section body from a highlighted section header. So let's go ahead and highlight this very first uh, heading that we have here. And I'm going to click on the rocket and it's going to give us an intro paragraph. Let's see what it produces. Coffee is a popular beverage enjoyed by people all around the world, but is coffee really good for you? Some believe that coffee stunts your growth because it is a caffeine content. However, other health experts say that the coffee is actually good for you and it can keep you healthy. So which is it? The answer is that there is benefits to both sides of the argument. Wow, that is actually pretty excellent. You know, I'm going to say that's pretty excellent. So I'm going to go ahead with that. Now, one thing I like to do in my blog post is add, insert a little bit of a personal nature to it this is a little generic you know hey coffee is popular yada, yada yada and i would probably put something a little more personal in here so i would say um i've been drinking coffee since i was 12 years old which is true by the way <laughs> which is probably which is very sad um, i've been drinking coffee since i was 12 years old and i'm about five 10 let's say that I often wondered if I did not drink coffee would I be taller all right so again I like to just throw in a little bit of a uh, yeah, question mark. And if, by the way, I'm using, um, you see this pop up here. I'm not using Grammarly. I'm actually not a big fan of Grammarly. I like pro writing aid. Um, I'll be sure to put a link down in the description for them as well. Um, very, very good program. Anyway, um, I put, I've been drinking coffee since I was 12 years old and I'm about 5'10". I often wondered if I did not drink coffee, would I be taller? And then go into the coffee as a popular beverage, yada, yada. So that's pretty, pretty good right there. Um, I would also want to include for SEO purposes, does coffee stunt your growth in this first paragraph? But um, we'll worry about optimizing for SEO later. Let's just go ahead and write the article. So um, that's not a bad intro right here. Um, let's go ahead and have a tease until the next, uh, to read the rest of the paragraph, rest of the article. Um, so let's see. So I did some extra research and this is what I found out about coffee and height all right so again just like a little teaser paragraph to try to get people to continue reading and then we go off into the first subheading so the caffeine and coffee how much does it affect your body and how all right that's not too bad i'm going to go ahead and collect all of this and i'm going to click h2 all right so none of these are all h2s i'm going to go ahead and break these down like so and I'm gonna kind of reword some of these, the caffeine and coffee, how it works and what affects the body. Um, I'm just gonna change it to just caffeine and coffee, how it affects the body, take the period out at the very end. Um, does coffee stunt grow, studies on that matter. I'm actually gonna make this one the first subheading. And then does coffee have any other benefits that outweigh? Conclusion, weighing the pros and cons 
of writing. I'm going to take out a conclusion. All right, so this is pretty good. So from here, I'm going to hit the enter. Um, let me just add that. <coughs> and let's hit this. I want to highlight this one. And now I'm going to hit the rocket button again. So now it's going to hit like um, blog paragraph. It's going to read what I just had highlighted and then jump into it. Does coffee stunt grow? Studies on the matter remain inconclusive, but there is some evidence to suggest that too much coffee consumption can have an adverse effect on linear growth. One study published by the American Clinical, however. All right, so this is going into it not not too poorly. I, I kind of like where the direction is going in um, because it actually is talking about a study here. If you notice, I put everything in an H2. So I'm just going to highlight this and just click H2 just to get it smaller. Um, one thing that you should do, especially when you're using uh, a lot of these uh, word uh, programs, is to give feedback to uh, Word Hero or whichever one you're using, just to let them know that um, it does that so that they can go in and fix it later. But uh, and that way it doesn't happen to everybody else. Um, providing that feedback is really, really helpful. Anyways, I'm not going to keep the same wording in here. So I'm just going to drop this. Does coffee stunt growth? Studies on the matter remain inconclusive. Yada, yada. I'm going to break this into a new paragraph and then break this into a new paragraph. And, uh, okay, it says right here, study published by the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that children on a regular basis are shorter, yada, yada, yada. You don't want to obviously fact check this. Um, there is no fact checker here over at Word Hero, so you would have to just Google this and make sure that there actually is a study. Um, anytime you're dealing with AI tools, you want to make sure that what they're saying actually is factual and that you need to fact check it. It's the same difference as if you hired a writer to write for you. You need to be sure that what they're saying actually makes sense. Um, however, a later study conducted the same research, and yada, yada, yada. All right, so that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Um, I'm gonna click the pencil now. So the difference between a rocket and the pencil is that the rocket is going to, uh, you'd have to highlight your, your subheading and it's gonna write based on that. The pencil is going to look 600 words back. It's gonna look back 600 words and then take the context and then create a content from there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the pencil. Next paragraph talks about when it comes to sports performance, caffeine exhibits no significant effect on the uh, athlete's ability to perform at their best. And that's probably true. You again want to fact check this, all, obviously, um, because it's not illegal for athletes to drink coffee, you know, before um, before they perform. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. This is also, for whatever reason, in the H2. So I'm going to back to a regular paragraph by highlighting it and then clicking H2. And uh, there's a new paragraph right there. All right, so um, this actually isn't too bad so far. One study shows, however, later studies. I'm going to see what else they can kind of get me here by just adding a new line and then clicking the pencil. Again, this is going to read 600 words back uh, and see exactly what this the context is, or 600 characters back, I should say. 600 characters is about three, 250 or so, 300 words. All right, there is no potential exception to the rule. High levels of caffeine consumption can reduce a person's ability to tolerate large doses of caffeine. As a result, athletes who consume... All right, so now it's jumping into kind of more about athletes. Uh, I don't really want to go into that at all because I'm not really talking about that. I'm just trying to stay on topic. This coffee stunt growth. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to end this section and I look at the next one. Does coffee, sorry, caffeine in coffee, how it works and what effects it has on the body? Um, all right, that's a pretty good topic right there. Um, let's just go, I'm going to take caffeine and coffee out again. How caffeine works and what effects on the body. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this subheading and then click on my rocket ship. All right, it says caffeine is a natural stimulant found in coffee, tea, and chocolate. It works by uh, blocking the effects of adocinine a chemical that makes you feel, that makes people feel tired. Uh, you'd want to fact check this as well, just to make sure that that's actually the right one. I do like how it mentions the big word, but then it actually explains what it is, assuming it's right. 
Um, and by the way, this is something that you would have to do with any AI tool, not just Word Hero. You can't take what these AI tools are saying as gospel. Anytime they make a claim on anything, um, be sure that you look it up. And it's actually another opportunity for you to add an external backlink as well. I like to use external backlinks that are, these are links that go outside of your website. So if I say something, the blocking effects of adenosine, um, I would make sure that I highlight this, create a link maybe to Wikipedia or, uh, um, you know, any of these medical sites and make sure that what they're saying is right. And then by linking to them, I get some authority as well because it shows that I didn't just make it up. Um, I'm going to turn this back into an H2. And then caffeine is a natural stimulant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caffeine also increases the release of dopamine, which it's associates with pleasure. All right. I'm going to click the next paragraph. I'm going to click my pencil here and see what else it gives me. All right. Caffeine is found in many foods, but it's commonly used as a stimulant. All right. It already talked about stimulant before. So I'm going to take this stimulant part out. I do like how it's common in many foods. And then it tells me how much, how much is included in a cup of coffee and in a cup of tea. Let's continue on. Now, as you can see, Word Hero does work a little slower than Jasper does. Jasper is really, really quick. Now, for the record, Jasper is probably the best AI writing tool that is out there right now. So I do definitely you know, recommend them. But if price has anything to do with it, just going a little bit slower here. I mean, to write the same information from Jasper might have taken three seconds slower, right? Uh, if I did it in Word Hero versus Jasper. So, I mean, if you can deal with three seconds, then it's really not a big deal with going with the cheaper and, in my opinion, the better value and deal with Word Hero. All right, the next thing I came out with is how much caffeine is safe to consume. All right, so how caffeine works and what uh, affects the body. That's actually uh, that's a good question. And then this next one, it says how caffeine, how much caffeine can you consume? So I'm going to take this actually. I'm going to hit enter here. I'm going to turn this into an H3 because it kind of can be its own little subtopic, but it's still under the main topic of caffeine affecting the body. So caffeine can be found in many foods. Okay, that's the exact same thing that is mentioned here. All right, I like this other part there. It is estimated that it can do 300, 400 milligrams. Again, be sure to uh, um, go through and fact check this, make sure that that is right. I'm going to click on my pencil to let it continue writing. <coughs> Okay, good. At this level, most people can consume without any negative effects. However, some people are more sensitive to caffeine than others. If you find yourself getting tired after drinking coffee or tea, try cutting down your intake and reducing uh, the amount of coffee. That's pretty good. You know, that can, that can remain its own paragraph. See what else you got for me. Caffeine is the most commonly consumed stimulant in the world, and it is a legal drug. Caffeine has been around for thousands of years, and popularity has only continued to grow all right again fact check just make sure that that's all right let's go to the next line all right let's go ahead to the next subheading actually does coffee have any other benefits that could outweigh any possible growth effects all right that's actually not a bad question let's go ahead i'm going to highlight this because I only want Word Hero to look at it. And then I'm going to click on the rocket ship. There are conflicting studies on whether coffee stunts growth. Some research suggests that coffee interferes with the absorption of essential nutrients, which can stunt growth. However, there is also evidence that coffee has other health benefits that could outweigh any sunny effects. Coffee is a rich source. This is excellent. You know, this is really good. All right. Um, I'm going to put the question mark back over here. Make this uh, again. I'm going to turn this back into a regular H2 or not H2, but make it a regular paragraph. And this is a long sentence. So I'm going to probably break it up just a little bit. So however, and here now I like to break up my paragraphs pretty easily like this because I want it to look good and easy to consume. If you have a big block of text, it really doesn't look that great when someone's trying to 
um, um, read it. It can be a little intimidating and they'll just skip over it anyway. If you break it up into little small pieces, it's a little easier to read. Um, anyway, uh, there's conflicting studies about its growth. Some research suggests essential, which can stunt growth, which I think is that's an excellently worded paragraph, a uh, sentence, in my opinion, because um, it's intriguing, right? Uh, however, there is also evidence that coffee has other health benefits that outweigh any stunning effects. Coffee is rich in antioxidants, which can help protect against disease. It also contains magnesium, potassium. Coffee can also improve, like it's going into exactly what you needed to do. Um, again, you will want to make sure that you fact check all of this, obviously. Health benefits of coffee. All right, so it is kind of going into another subheading here, which kind of the same thing. So I might not need this uh, health benefits of coffee. I'm just going to take it out and then see if, I already talked about antioxidants and protecting against disease, rich source of antioxidants against disease, same, same thing. It also contains magnesium and potassium. We've already talked about that. All right, so I mean, at that point, I'm just going to go ahead and move on. Weighing up the pros and cons of coffee consumption. I'm going to go ahead and use this at the next subheading. And let's highlight this last sentence. And let's go ahead and hit the rocket ship. All right, it says, despite the fact that caffeine is a drug, the coffee is, and coffee is a source of caffeine, there seems to be little stigma attached to drinking coffee. Perhaps this is because coffee is not only legal, but also widely enjoyed. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and make it back to an H2. And perhaps break it up my paragraphs again, like I like to do. Sometimes I even do one sentence paragraphs because it just it's just easier to read. It also helps with ads as well. If you have display ads on your website, you can get more and more um, ads in between the paragraphs what are but what are the pros and cons of coffee consumption yeah i'm gonna leave that and then go to the next thing and let's highlight this and hit the rocket it says the popularity of coffee has grown exponentially and with that comes questions about its effects some people swear energizing it calms yeah that's not very good i'm just going to delete it and actually have it do it again coffee is consumed by billions of people every day but there's no truth to claim that it's such a growth According to some reports, there may be some merit to the data. The problem with relying on anecdotal evidence, however, study published. All right, so this is actually not a bad conclusion. So I'm going to change this to, you know, final thoughts and then make this an H2. And what I'll do now, get rid of that. And I'm gonna take this blog conclusion and I'm over here on the left hand corner and a short description. So um, I'm gonna put like write a, a paragraph, if I can spell, concluding that coffee does not stunt your growth. And I'm gonna hit write for me. Give it a second to come up with some ideas. Now these ideas here, it says in conclusion, coffee does not stunt growth. The Harvard nurses, yada, 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 had no effect on the height of men and women. Additionally, a study, and let's look at this other one. In conclusion, there's evidence that coffee stunts growth. There's no evidence that coffee stunts growth. Coffee has been linked to a variety of health benefits such as reducing, so drink up. All right, um, I think I'm gonna go with this first one. However, study published by, all right, I'm gonna take out this last sentence and put in this conclusion. And then again, it's talking about the Harvard uh, Nurses Health Study, as well as the National Institutes Health. Now, because this happens to, you know, does coffee stunt growth, that's kind of a health thing that you need to worry about. That's why uh, Word Hero kind of picked out a lot of 
you know, had a lot of claims in it. But um, you do want to make sure that those things are factuals are factual. <coughs> Excuse me. And then at the end here for the final thoughts, I probably would include my own little, you know, conclusion that includes, you know, maybe uh, more about my anecdotal evidence here of um, when I started drinking coffee when I was 12 and I'm only 5'10", you know, and then probably conclude the paragraph, like, uh, include the article like that. But other than that, this is an article that I could be proud of. You know, it's not bad. It's it's pretty good. Um, will it rank? That's, you got to post it and see. That's really the only option that you have there um, and just see how it goes. But it's not bad. And we were able to write it in, you know, what was this, 10, 15 maybe 20 minutes and it's about a 700 727 word post so if you wanted to add you know maybe two or three hundred more words to it which i did skip quite a bit when doing this we could have gotten it to a thousand in within a few minutes so that's pretty good and you can copy and paste this into uh, wordpress and get you a picture or two and move on to the next article because that's really what we're doing but in my opinion word hero is an amazing resource i definitely recommend that you check it out um again just as a reminder as of right now absumo has this lifetime deal this isn't going to last long it's not so be sure to take advantage of it as soon as you can um it's 89 dollars. you get unrestricted no limits 100 percent access to uh to uh, word hero as you can see here unlimited copy forever the unlimited offer is going to end soon which i know it will because that's that's what AppSumo does that's just how it works um you can stack an additional code to get the long form editor which is where you will buy this twice and uh, just stack the codes um but it mentions everything that's there I, it's it's a great deal. It it really is. I definitely recommend it. Um, if you use the link down in the description, blogrevolution.com slash word hero. Uh, be sure to check that out. If you do end up using it, please be sure to um, let me know so that I can send you my free blogging cheat sheet that will show you exactly how to build up your blog and get it to the point to where it's finally making some money. And, um, you know, you come and read some of the reviews. I won't go over them now because you can read them at your leisure. Click on the link and go check them out. So other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in, in the next video.